we're talking about neighbors feuding over iguanas. Like, we don't have enough things to do in America. We need to feud over iguanas. It sounds trivial, but the residents say, look, this is a serious issue. Darren says there's no harm in feeding the reptiles, but his neighbor Matthew says the iguana invasion that is damaging their properties, eating up their vegetation, it is all an unnecessary problem. You, you don't need, it's, they're there anyway. You don't need to draw them up needlessly. We reached out to a certified iguana expert. And yeah, they do exist, mm -hmm. uh, to have him weigh in on this conversation. So please welcome uh, Perry Colato, uh, owner of Redline Iguana Removal in the Miami-Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, so thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. What can you tell us about this, Perry? I'm saying that I'm saying he shouldn't be feeding these out of his mouth to start with. That they do have bacteria that you shouldn't be handling them, putting your hands in your mouth. You should be feeding them out of your mouth. It's not a good idea. Tell me what's going on here. I agree with you 100 percent, Dr. Phil. And to, to you, man, I understand why you want to do this and you think that you're helping them in the long run. Uh, me personally, I was born and raised in South Florida. For 29 years, I've lived there. And I've seen their population expand over the time I've lived there. Um, to give you a little bit of background about them, they're actually not native to, to Florida. They're native mm -hmm. to Central and South America. They were brought in around the 1960s in the pet trade and they were let go. People like yourself, they think they're really cute and they're really small, and then they outgrow their cage very quickly, and you can't take care of them anymore, so now, now they're in the wild. I uh, take care now, of them even just to give you a little no, bit of, Let him speak. Just to give you a little bit of how big of a problem it is, mm -hmm. uh, I work for a local fire department down there, and I opened up a company specific to re remove this one animal, uh, and we are very busy removing that one animal. So you're a nature um, hater. I'm not, sir. I actually really do love our native wildlife and plants, and these guys are non-native to Florida, which in turn is causing issues for our native plants and animals, and without competing them. Um, each female can lay up to 70 eggs a year, and they don't really have any natural predators. Once they get to Bruno's size, like you have here, uh, you know, there's nothing to limit their population, uh, which in turn can be very detrimental to our native plants and animals. Well, that's your opinion. Uh, it's actually a fact, man. I'm sorry. No, you, can you know what? It. Um, First of all, you bring a nature hater on the show. You have them sitting there. You don't even tell uh, me that. You didn't there. even know they want, had man. teeth. It's all right. Well, I know now. Not only are you um, not giving them the ability to search for food on their own, now they feel comfortable on your property to where they can bite a kid. If a kid's sitting in his backyard eating a sandwich, they can come and bite his hand. But they're not going to. They these don't know that are, kid. Like they you said, me. you're an adult, and you, you started bleeding very easily. These things bite like an alligator and they roll. And their nails can carry salmonella underneath them as well because they walk around in their feces. So you, you know, you might not be affected by their bacteria, but a little kid, a dog, somebody else might. And that's, that's because the issue. little Johnny never been um, outside and that's why they don't have an immune okay. system like I do. But also your neighbors, um, the one that you have on TV here as well, you're attracting more iguanas to your property and to your neighbor's property. So not only are they not competing for food anymore because they get it from I'm you, not, I'm now not they can focus more, more on breeding, more. which is going to be an even there. bigger issue for you guys later okay, on. Okay, whatever. Enjoy life, man. Feel it. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.